Our last inductee this evening is Fred E. White. Fred White was born in 1903 in Berwyn, Illinois. In his early years, he made models of boats and airplanes and built his own cycle car, the Baby Bullet. By 1922, he had already entered the field of aviation with the U.S. Mail Service and then working for the Yaki Aircraft Company, building Yaki transports from war surplus airplanes. At the Navy Bureau of Aeronautics, he worked on the Curtis Sparrow Hawk. In 1925, he joined NACA, the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics at Langley Field here in Virginia as an aeronautical engineer. In between his stints for NACA, he worked for the Hamilton Aero Manufacturing Company in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Some of Fred White's significant research was in developing propellers. To do this research, Fred designed the first wind tunnels for testing propellers, a not so insignificant byproduct of his propeller research. Fred led the team of researchers who developed the famous NACA low drag cowling for radial engine powered planes, allowing an increase in airspeed with no increase in power. This development was so significant it won NACA's first Collier Trophy in 1929. During his work with Hamilton Aero, Fred White made flight tests with Charles Lindbergh at Burbank Field. Lindbergh is in the front seat, White is in the back seat. Also shown is Tom Hamilton, the president of Hamilton Aero Manufacturing. Back at Langley from 1930 to 1936, White was the author of 41 reports on airplane stability dealing with airplane spinning, crashes, anti-stalling design, short landing characteristics, the effect on lift, drag, and spinning, the characteristics of sharp leading edges on airplane wings, and wind tunnel research on lateral control devices. While at NACA, Fred White developed his experimental W1 in his one-car garage in Hampton, Virginia. His kid's bicycle helped him to find the best angle for the steering post of the W-1's castering nose wheel. The significance of the W-1 is that it was a simple to fly, two control, high wing pusher that wouldn't stall or spin, could land on a dime, and wouldn't nose over or ground loop. The plane's excellent ground handling came from its tricycle landing gear, which had the, first, the world's first steerable, stable castering nose gear, something we take for granted today, but was a true innovation in aviation when White designed it. Just before World War II, Fred joined Urco to develop the famous Urcoop airplane. It was a safe, easy airplane to fly and had a steerable nose wheel, which made it very easy to handle on the ground, too. It was a direct outgrowth of the W-1. In 1948, the White family moved to Texas A&M, where Fred worked on the Ag-1, a project to develop a safe and efficient crop-dusting aircraft from the ground up this was a departure from the previous practice of taking an existing light plane and simply retrofitting it with a spray tank. Wyke then moved to Piper in 1957, where the crop duster development project that he started at Texas A&M became a practical reality in the Piper Pawnee because it was designed specifically to be a crop duster. The Pawnee looked different from earlier aircraft used in agriculture, but the plane had what was required to be a crop duster. It was extraordinarily safe. The pilot sat high on the fuselage in a reinforced and closed cockpit that protected the pilot in crashes and reduced exposure to toxic fumes. Instead of getting tangled in electrical wires, the plane was capable of slicing through them. Fred White was the chief designer of the Piper Cherokee 140 and the Cherokee 180. First produced in 1961, well over 25,000 Cherokees have been built. Fred retired from Piper in 1969. Because of his accomplishments, it has been said of Fred White that he is more than a deserving nominee. He is an aviation legend. Looking back on White's design, it has been said that if the Wright brothers hadn't invented the airplane, Fred White would have. Robert T. Jones, a NACA NASA legend in his own right, said those who worked with Fred White were privileged to work with one of the great people in American aviation. 
Though his name is not well known to the public, Fred has as many contributions to the field of general aviation as anyone I can think of. Our 2002 Virginia Aviation Hall of Fame member, Fred White. Accepting for Fred White is Betsy White. That's beautiful. I want to th thank the Virginia Aviation Hall of Fame for this honor to Dad. He was incredibly interested, well obviously, in interested in uh, light plane aviation and his focus was on the safety. Uh, st had a strong focus on safety all his life. And much of the basis of his work was done uh, in Hampton. Uh, when he was at NACA. We never called it NACA, it was NACA. <laughs> uh, I also want to thank uh, Norm Crable and Vera Rollo and uh, Jim Henson for, Jim, uh, who provided the impetus, the information that helped get Dad uh, recognized here. And I want to thank you all. This has been quite a show. Uh, one of the things I, I said to one of the recipients tonight, uh, it was to Weldon Britton, is that I wish I had done half the things he had done. Uh, of course, my wife would have been uh, have gray hair now if that were the case. Uh, what an exciting, uh, what exciting lives uh, have been portrayed for you this evening. Uh, what great aviation accomplishments have been put before you. Uh, we have Mr. Wakefield Airport and Miss Hummel Field, uh, who, has, who has, as we've seen, her own fan club with her tonight. <laughs> Uh, with the accomplishments of, of Edward Anderson, uh, who struck the, the first blow for freedom, and Bill Brightwell, who had such a long career uh, in, in the uh, military and in civilian uh, aviation. And, and to hear that last uh, presentation uh, concerning uh, the developments that we all enjoy now in flying that uh, seem so commonplace, but which somebody had to think of. A special thanks uh, goes out tonight to those who were able to uh, put this uh, together for us. Uh, Lou Dean, I'd like us all to give a special uh, applause yeah. for you tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's a great presentation.